Before I call the member for Mayo, I'd like to acknowledge in the gallery today we have a delegation of 15 mayors and councillors from the National Growth Areas Alliance as guests of the member for Pearce and also the Honourable Christopher Pearce, the former member for Aston and Parliamentary Secretary to the Treasurer. Warm welcome to you all. The call to the Honourable Member for Mayo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Infrastructure. The Verdun Freeway interchange was built in the early 70s. It's not fit for purpose and only travels in one direction. Despite extensive state government planning and contributing $50 million to the project, you've cut the promised federal funding of $200 million. My community is rightly angry and wants to know why, as Minister, you don't believe we deserve an upgrade to our 50-year-old freeway interchange. The member for Fisher will not interject before the minister even begins to speak. Give the call to the Minister for Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Local Government. Uh, thanks, and can I thank the member for Mayo for a question. I know you are a long-term advocate for projects in your community, including this one. Uh, the facts of the matter are we have been left with an infrastructure investment pipeline that is an absolute and utter mess. There are projects that have been committed to, projects the that have been committed to, where there is insufficient funding to actually deliver what has been asked for. There is insufficient funding. Order. They have left us with co known cost pressures of over $33 billion in the infrastructure investment pipeline, including $14.2 billion of, in, of known cost pressures on those projects that are yet to start. I understand that there will be communities who are disappointed by some of the decisions that we have made today, but I can say very clearly very clearly that they should blame those opposite for leaving a pipeline that simply cannot be delivered, for in Order. fact not being honest Order. with communities, Members including on my left. yours, that there is insufficient funding. They have been all press release and no delivery. We will continue to work with states and territories for priority Order. infrastructure Members projects. On my left, the member for but what we have done today we have guaranteed the $120 billion infrastructure investment pipeline. We have provided billions of dollars worth of cost pressures to states and territories, including $2.7 billion in South Australia, to make sure that the North-South Corridor can be delivered. And that is an incredibly important project for that state. And we will continue to work Order. in partnership with states and territories to deliver projects, but not just press releases. 